Hi, this video is gonna be about my interior mods for the GX470 and this is a 2003 model and I was bored today so I decided to do a video of all the little interior mods that I've done. So let's go inside and first look at the dashboard. The dashboard was replaced in 2017, the last year that Lexus had the program to replace the dashboards for free so I was able to get that then recently I did the vinyl wrap on all of the fake wood trim and I didn't do a great job but uh, it's good enough and I still have a little spot to be done right there I also did the shifter right here and then on the doors you can also see the uh, um, the, the vinyl wrap for the for the wood trim the other significant thing that was done here in the front is actually the the seats. I bought the seats from lseat.com, specifically made for the GX470, and it came with the headrest, the armrest, and the the entire seat. Um, I got the pair, and then I didn't want to actually do it myself, so I took it to a shop to have them install it. I also put the uh, the little inserts for the door pockets uh, so that I can put things like my keys are in there right now. And uh, the steering wheel, I wrapped it myself with a leather wrap and it's uh, worked pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with the way it feels and um, it's already about two years old and it's starting to peel in a couple of areas so I may have to wrap it again and maybe I can do a better job than the last time I stitched it, it came out kind of crooked but I really like the way it looks with the uh, new leather seats and the vinyl wrap and the new dashboard and the steering wheel it, it looks uh, it looks good to me uh, what else did I do in the front okay so inside I've done all the LEDs so all of the lights all the interior lights are LEDs and it's daytime right now so you can't really see but the main thing about LEDs is that it doesn't drain your battery as much if you forget to turn them off or if you leave the door open um, and then I have the generic uh, universal weather tech mats maybe at one point I'll get the um, the ones that are specifically made for the GX 470 but uh, these were pretty cheap but uh, it was like eighty dollars, but it included the front, the middle, and the rear cargo area. And I think that was at Costco. Um, oh, also for the for the stereo, I added. You can't see it, but I added a Bluetooth adapter. I think it's called BT Forty Five Toy, and it's from a company called US Spec. I don't recommend it since. Uh, it connects about 80% of the time and the other 20% I gotta turn off the car, turn it back on, play around with the phone and uh, but once it connects it actually works really well it's just that that initial connection sometimes fails about 20% of the time and that's about it I think those are all the changes that I've done in the front and uh, let's go look at the, at the back I've done a few other changes in the in the rear All right, well, here in the rear, I replaced the door handle because it broke, and I got this one on Amazon. It's the Opar uh, door handle from a Jeep, and I just attached it here with some screws. I also did the, uh, the uh, exit uh, latch so that when I'm camping and I'm sleeping in the back, I can actually open the rear door from the inside. Uh, so this is just a cable that goes all the way to where the latch is and then I drilled a hole and I was able to then attach the wire so I can pull the latch. Um, and then probably the most significant change to the rear is this drop down table from Bison Gear. I don't know if you can tell, it's right there. Is there any signs over here? No. But, the, oh yeah, right here. So it's the Bison Gear. And it has this molly 
uh, panel. You can hang things in there if you want. And then I also got the uh, the cutlery kit. This is an organizer, so I can have a spoon, a knife, and a fork. That's just when I go solo. Um, and then you have little pouches where you can store additional things in here. So I have some um, microfiber rags and then some additional kitchen gear in there. And that retains the, um, the toolbox. So you can still have full access to the toolbox. And my toolbox has a complete set, has everything in there. So anyways, it preserves that. Um, and then what else? Uh, so that's it for the barn door. Um, and then back here, I also got the bison gear ceiling shelf. So this is a metal ceiling shelf and I have the I'm storing right now the uh, the covers for the windows uh, this is a material called reflectix or something like that and so I put it in all the windows so when I'm camping uh, the light doesn't come in there's been some places that I've been to that there's either a lot of light coming from you know a nearby cabin or something like that or sometimes uh, if people go stay up really late and they have lights outside uh, or if there's a full moon or um, in the morning when the sun comes up I usually wake up when the sun comes up but this prevents the sun from coming in anyway so those are the reflectix but uh, I also have my toolbox up here um, so I can carry a full set of tools up there and then on the side I did this uh, soft molly panel uh, and it comes really handy when I sleep in here because I can put my phone, my glasses, um, a flashlight, and on this side I have uh, my first aid kit. Um, and so I haven't fully utilized it, but uh, basically I have a, a soft uh, molly panel uh, right there. And again, I use it when I sleep in here. Um, I've added additional hooks right here so I can strap my gear. There's another one on this side. Um, there's some in the front as well uh, to go along with these ones. So it helps me attach and uh, strap my boxes and the water to this uh, seat. Um, those were the seat, uh, I guess, uh, what are they? Like the clamps for the seat. And uh, I also clamp it right there and then it goes into the other side like that. Um, and that's it for the rear mod. Um, so this video was basically about the interior, interior mods that I've done. Right now I just have all my boxes and my water here. When I do solo camping, I need to go get my mattress, but I would put my mattress in here. And then that other box is my kitchen and this is my recovery gear. I have a refrigerator. I have a power station um, and I have an air compressor so I carry all those things with me and I recently bought a uh, lava fire pit because uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult to uh, have re regular fires out in the campsites in, in Southern California because of the fire danger so most places don't let you have uh, burn real wood so you have to bring your own fire pit uh, so I'm gonna try that one when um, Outland Living uh, it's a little square one that just came out I don't know if you can see it it's too hard to see but that's the Outland Living I think it's called a fire box fire cube or something like that alright well that's it I just wanted to go over a lot of the interior mods that I've done on my GX 47 they're pretty uh, GX 470 they're pretty basic uh, but uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to get them done all right well thanks for watching <laughs>